Hello and welcome back to McLaren Performance. Argentina win the World Cup in what is probably the most exciting World Cup final has ever been. And I want to give my reaction to it and look at why it actually is one of the best finals ever. I think like a lot of people uh, going into that final, I really did want Argentina to win. I think a lot because of, of Messi and his journey and, and to be able to prove himself at the age that he is, uh, to be able to do that, to win the World Cup, to still prove himself as one of the best players in the world is a fantastic story to do after Maradona passes away, the World Cup just after that. It's a fantastic story and, and that's what kind of played out in that final. It wasn't so straightforward though it certainly looked like it was going to be straightforward for i think for the first 80 minutes really uh two nil to argentina and it looked like argentina were dominating really the entire time it was fascinating to watch and i guess from a, a tactical point of view how argentina had solely players forward outnumbering uh france players so often going forward also it, it was really strange to see that and strange to see also france not really having any chances i don't know what the the statistics are but i don't really remember any significant chances if not any you know shots on target at all there was a lot of talk about france before the game and i think a little bit after as well about a lot of the french players being ill a lot of players dropping out a lot of players not really being 100 percent playing uh, for those 90 plus minutes on the day as well and of course obviously had an effect on their performance they didn't really look uh, like they were doing much individually not working very hard individually and you know, like they had much going on going forward anyway and yeah while i think there's the, the 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 physical implications of being ill and that can affect a performance i think there is also the psychological impact as well preparation has a lot to do especially when it's a game of such importance when you're at the final at the pinnacle which was the end of getting that result preparation beforehand is so important feeling like you've prepared as a team 100% beforehand I think is so important and I can imagine if you had to speculate somewhat that having players that are ill not feeling exactly 100% in yourself but also seeing that the team itself isn't fully prepared isn't fully well isn't fully healthy to play in that game I think can have a, a bigger impact on your perspective on how well you are going into that game and as you can see can have an impact on how you start that game and how you play the majority of it it somewhat explains that turnaround because that 2-0 you really do have to change things. You have to find that energy within you. And I think that's what makes uh, what made such a good game, but what makes France such a good team and is maybe somewhat a criticism of England in some way is that a good team, good players find a way to win. Well, not necessarily win in France's case, but find a way to get back into the game to be competitive. On an individual level, that's certainly the case uh, with Mbappe. Quite interestingly, just talking to an athlete the other day, and talking about, and I think a lot of athletes, top athletes, athletes that want to do well, think they need to be 100% all the time. But I think an Mbappe in that game is a fantastic example of it. Turn up on a day, not being 10 out of 10, maybe 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10, but digging in, finding opportunities, finding a way to win that game, uh, to, to compete in it anyway. And as a team as a whole, I think the chances and the goals that France scored, they're almost minute mistakes from Argentina that France just took that little bit of advantage of. And that is credit to them, really, of how good of a team they are. That despite Argentina playing so well and despite them as individuals, as France not being 100%, they still dug in and found opportunities and found penalties to take and found chances to take as well. Keep talking about France as if they actually won the game, but I think that's what makes such a good game is that both teams were really good and you really can't fault them that much for what they were doing i think france always had that chance to come back and they're always in the game in some way what made a fantastic kind of extra time i was talking to my brother about it you know extra times always so closed off you know nothing really happens but that extra time was fantastic see almost like basketball back and forth and the opportunities and two players in messi and mbappe uh, really not necessarily at their peak but in that game definitely were as individuals performing so well. I think what helped Mbappe come into the game as well, just from a tactical point of view, is that he was playing quite wide for the majority of the game. And then when they changed things around, I think a lot of things changed within that game. That's why things were backwards and forwards so much. But there was a change within there where Mbappe was playing more centrally and that probably suited him a lot more. And it obviously did because of the chances he could then create and make himself. It turned up a lot in those last 10 minutes of the 90 minutes. And just look at Messi as well. I mean, if there was any debate uh, between who is the best player in the world, you know, Messi or Ronaldo. It almost feels like this World Cup has kind of squashed that debate somewhat because Ronaldo's really not come out of it very well at all. Again, similar to Man United, not starting a lot of games either. Uh, but Messi is someone who's 
uh, despite his age, not someone playing the way that he was before, but he's still central, can have that free space, free run, can attack, 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 create opportunities. Unbelievable the game before, playing out wide and coming back in, creating that opportunity out of nowhere almost. Well, I don't think Argentina are, you know, Messi FC. I don't think he was the entirety, you know, the reason wholly why they did so well. But he has been a significant contribution to that team. and didn't take away from the rest of the team and the manager as well to organise that to make a team successful. It does take all those individuals. And that's why it's a great game. You know, you could heap loads of praise on Argentina. You could heap loads of praise on France, but all for different reasons. Argentina being more consistent, but France showing that resilience as well, coming back from 2-0 down. That's a different type of winning. That's a different type of being a fantastic player in the case of Mbappe. But the difference... Uh, between the teams, obviously, uh, over actual play, with you know, 3-3, three, three, they were quite even. Uh, that penalty shootout, though, was a difference. Going into that penalty shootout, you did feel like Argentina had that advantage. Because Martinez being not just a fantastic keeper, but a fantastic keeper in the sense of penalty shootouts. Uh, from a psychological point of view, yeah, he's a pretty weird guy. <laughs> but I think it's interesting to see someone who is controlling every aspect that they can control. They're not just saving goals. They're doing every little bit that they can to control the psychology of themselves but also the individual and that is an extra level it's it's dominating from a from a body language point of view and you could certainly see uh, martin as the keeper doing that in many different instances you can see how much of a character he is he didn't have to say a word you can see the type of person he is you can see the confidence that he had going into that penalty shoes out and i think a lot of people watching the teams as well probably knew what the result that was going to be it's probably why you could see that it wasn't a penalty shootout that dragged on and on it kind of decided itself pretty quickly and so yeah argentina win the world cup and, and probably deservedly so as well and, and yeah they're really just my thoughts on it all that drama is not really much to dig into it's just to say how much of a good game it was i haven't talked a lot about england but i'm definitely saving that the next video next episode that i do is definitely talk about southgate and england and everything like that because i think there's a lot uh, to say about it but just to talk about england in contrast to say seeing france and argentina there you can really see a difference really in those teams and there's probably a lot to dig into in regards to that but yeah thank you for watching and listening as always you can like subscribe uh, review all those things uh, that would be fantastic have a merry christmas i guess <laughs> happy new year all that stuff i don't know when i'll do another episode so i guess i'll see you whenever